guys. So today is the very sad day that we have to put our RV into storage. Seriously, so sad. But it's been getting down to freezing almost every night and we're not going anywhere else this year. So it's time to put it into storage. We've got a storage place figured out and paid for. And yeah, so we've done a pretty good job deep cleaning the RV inside and taking out everything that we're going to be needing over the winter. Next step is to actually do the winterizing and putting the antifreeze in all the lines and stuff like that. So let's do that now. So the first step in this process is to bypass the hot water tank so that we're not putting any antifreeze into our hot water tank. Ours is a simple one valve system, so all we need to do is switch this one valve. Next we found the valves behind this wall. One empties out the fresh water tank and the other switches the water pump from drawing from the fresh water tank to this little hose here. Then we remove the anode from the outside of the hot water tank to drain out all the water. This is our anode. You'll need to check the condition of the anode as it does disintegrate over time. Then we switched on the water pump and started running the antifreeze through all of the taps. And you can't forget about the outdoor shower. Then we removed the hose from the antifreeze and shoved it back in the wall. My dad had rigged up this water pump so that we were able to put some antifreeze into our black water flush as well. We poured the remaining antifreeze down the drains for safe measure and added about a cupful into the toilet bowl as well. And just like that, we had successfully winterized our RV. So before we store the RV as well though, we're gonna go get propane, fill the propane tank up. We've been plugged into Alicia's parents' house so our batteries are full for storage. And we're gonna have to run the generator once a month at least to keep the generator happy over winter. So with the propane and everything, now we can run a bit of heat that way too when we visit the RV. Keep her company over winter at least, hey guys. Okay, first stop that the propane's done. 60 liters basically for $51. And the guy there was telling us they wait the five minutes because recently one of the super safe little gas station propane spots had a vehicle actually go up in flames in the Kelowna location. I guess when you turn off your propane, the pilot light in the fridge could still be on clicking when it eventually runs into the propane or something like that, I guess. But don't want that happening. Apparently it's happened recently. So that is a wrap. We are now heading to the Dollarama dollar store next. We're gonna buy some dehumidifiers and fresh scent for the RV. It's getting a little musty in there. We don't wanna have moisture in it over winter. So that is the plan, guys. Alrighty, we've got some fresh linen scent for the RV over winter and some... Moisture traps. Moisture traps. I saw them at the dollar store one time and I figured it doesn't hurt to have them in there. I don't know if it's like necessary, but if we can get rid of some extra moisture in the RV over winter, it really doesn't hurt. So I think it's time now to go grab some gas to make sure the gas is filled up for when we store it. And then we're heading up to the store, Dina, guys. What's the temperature outside? I think it was only a low of minus three or something last night. Zero? Burr. Minus one? I don't know. It's cold. <laughs> oh, the heat. Get that gate, Alicia. Woo! We're in! We're accepted. It actually works. Let's go. Okay. 
And we're in, guys. Where our baby's gonna sleep for a couple months in the winter. So, we're in our storage parking spot for winter now. Alicia has got the moisture absorbent and the fresheners opened up. I took down my flag. It's a bit of a rough shaped flag. I feel kind of bad having it in this poor of condition. But for those of you that remember, that's been up since Canada Day on July 1st. I put it up in Fredericton Walmart parking lot, Fredericton, New Brunswick. And then we took it all the way over to Newfoundland, the most Eastern point in North America, this flag went. And then it followed us all the way back across Canada. There was two, I'll admit. We did lose one on our travels, but this Canadian flag has definitely seen some of Canada, I'll tell you that. We're now running our generator real quick. We're gonna get it cycled through, get some fresh gas in that generator, get that cycled through and good. And then we're pretty much set to leave the RV for winter here, guys. We'll still check in and we're gonna do some stuff in the RV over winter and keep the RV busy, but for now at least. Okay guys, everything's set up in here. The last thing we gotta do before we leave is to disconnect the batteries because we don't want to come back to something drawing on the battery and have some dead batteries. So we've got this handy dandy shut off switch here. Clunk. And all of our electronics are now turned off and the batteries are disconnected. One thing we do have to remember though is to turn the inverter off. We wired our inverter straight to our batteries so that doesn't actually disconnect the inverter. So inverter's off, batteries are disconnected, we're fully winterized, everything's good to go. So, Everybody say goodbye to the RV. Sad, sad day. Goodbye RV. Until spring. Maybe even early spring if we're lucky. Good morning guys. Woo. So, the RV is all safe in storage. We did that yesterday. And today, we're actually going to brave the outdoors and the freaking cold weather and probably do our last little fishing trip here before the lakes freeze over. So, God, it's minus one out right now. It's supposed to be a high of zero today. It's very, very overcast right now, but apparently the sun is supposed to break through and clear off some of the fog and stuff, but it's freaking cold out right now, guys. Luke didn't even pack any mittens to wear while fishing, so. Gonna get cold hands for sure. Yeah. But we do have our toques. Yeah, we've got our toques. We've got two pairs of pants on and a bunch of other layers and Cold, but hopefully we catch something. We're going to a place called Garden Lake, which is very close to home, and it's somewhere that we've been before, and we've had luck with fishing there before as well. So they've got a bunch of rainbow trout in the lake. So hopefully we catch something. Wish us luck, guys, because we haven't had very much luck this year. And Alicia's got her license, so it's going to be a Luke versus Alicia fish off today too. Yes, I went online to buy my license this morning just for like a day license. And I found out that I actually did have the full year license that I bought on May Long last year. Well, May Long this year, I guess. For BC. Yeah, for BC. So it's gonna be a competition. Who's gonna catch the first fish, guys? Alrighty guys, we're all bundled up. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting trying to fish in all of these layers and mittens and stuff like that, but at least we won't be as cold. We have arrived. Wow, it's cold out. <laughs> So, we have our own little personal dock here, but in the background there, there looks like there's a dad and his kid using the bigger, better dock. Last summer when we were here with Alicia's brother, we were all fishing and he actually caught an 18 inch rainbow trout. We can shove some footage of that in here. I have some of my cell phone from back before we were vlogging. He's so big. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to Johnny. I did. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, hold him by the skull bone up there. Yeah. And the tail. Gentle. Yeah. Oh him. my god, just put him back. <laughs> but that is the good dock. It actually gets out deeper. It's pretty shallow here. So we're going to set up and try here for a bit. Let that dad and his kid have their fun. And then either we'll move over there in a bit or if they leave, we'll take that dock. But it's nice having our own spot here at least. Alright, so what we got? 
what I've got going on here is this little colorful little jig head thingy. It was like a pre-made thing once upon a time. But I just attached a weight to the top of it and it looks kind of stupid but we're just going to give it a try. Last time when my brother was here he was throwing out, I think it was like a little plastic yellow nymph. So hopefully this does some magic for me. Nothing to report back. Another oh, I just walked into a hook. You see that? Holy cow! Um, another guy showed up with the good dock. That one goes out way deeper, and there's not as many weeds around it from what we remember. We're catching quite a bit of weeds here, but I am taking a quick hand warm up break. My fingers are turning red. It is cold out today, guys. We were hoping the sun would break through, which it's getting close and it warm up a bit. But yeah, minus one when we got here, probably still maybe zero, but. Whew, winter time is setting in. Looking forward to spring when we can get RVing again and hopefully get outside and actually camp in the warmth more next year. How's it going, Alicia? bad. I switched over to a pink rooster tail which has always been my lucky charm when fishing for trout but still no luck and all I'm catching is a bunch of weeds so. Dun, dun, dun. Her weed pile. Alrighty guys we've been out here for about two hours and no luck. Only thing we're gonna catch out here is a cold that this rain feels like. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna call it here. I don't think we're gonna catch any fish. We're just gonna pack up now and head back to the car and turn the heat up way up high. So let's Ooh. do it. Alrighty, the car's starting to warm up now and we're starting to thaw out. <laughs> my bit. nose is so cold. I feel like my fingers are gonna fall off too. Man, oh man, I really underestimated. I don't know, we get used to cold days and you hear minus one and you think, oh, well, you know, put an extra pair of sweatpants on or something but I mean no that is cold I think you're the only person who thinks oh I'm just gonna put an extra pair of sweatpants on double insulation then you got layers but anyways we are going to stop at Tim Hortons on the way home and get a hot drink yeah warm coffee for the hands so we will see you guys at the Tim Hortons drive through then If you're not Canadian and you don't know, Tim Hortons is a really, really popular coffee shop, basically. It's mostly just famous for breakfast and coffee and donuts. And actually, I don't know why it's so popular. Probably because it's so cheap and just like Canadian and it's kind of like all we have. Like you don't really see many Dunkin' Donuts ever or any other really chain. The only other one would be Starbucks, which is expensive and still yeah. pretty popular but Tim Hortons it's funny though like the coffee is not even that good like <laughs> everybody goes here and gets the coffee but like it's okay but it's nothing spectacular at all so reliable Canadian staple on a quick drive through somewhere for working people and everything no it is no matter what time of day it is the drive through is full so and they have ice caps oh yeah ice caps so in the summer if you want an iced cappuccino it's a blended Cappuccino drink? Like a frappe. Uh, yeah, like a frappe. So good. You can get them made with chocolate milk. If you ever come to a Tim Hortons, get an iced cappuccino and ask for it with chocolate milk. Yeah. That's the insider tip. <laughs> Hi, Hi there. Can we get two medium double doubles, please? Okay, you go. Nope, that's all. Good awesome, thank you. And I think it's like a Tim Hortons thing or a Canadian thing or something, but double double means two green, two sugar. Yeah. And, and two. Have a good one. Thank well, you. Thanks. Have a good day. Oh, they even got their Christmas cups now. Cute. Alrighty, guys, we've got our coffee and we're starting to warm up finally. But that is going to be the end of this vlog. RVs and storage, no fish, but we're warmed up. And I guess we'll catch you in the next one here, guys. Yep. See you. Bye.